What's up, my mobile detailing people? It's Hunter's Mobile Detailing in the building. Check your boy out, man. We got the sign. You know, we got to advertise, man. Everywhere we go, we got to advertise because that's money. Advertisement is money. And if you ain't got something like this, you're missing out on money, man. So what we do is we sit this out on the side of the road to let people know what we're doing because people always nosy, right? They drive by, they like, what is these young dudes doing? Oh, they, oh, I think they detail. Oh, excuse me, sir. They interrupt the uh, our business sometimes. So now we got the sign so they could pull up, take a picture, and uh, allow us to continue to work, man. You feel me? You feel me? All right, check this out. That's more advertisement right there. Check it out, check it out. That's the little vehicle wrapped. We paid about $700 for that. This right here cost me $250. You got to invest in yourself, man. Mobile detailing, baby. Let's get it. Stop slacking on your business. Let's get going. It's that motivation. So welcome. Welcome to my crib, man. Welcome to my crib. It's a little messy. So right here, we got the minty extractor. This right here cost about $1,300. All right. I did have the Bissell Pro. For the people that keep asking me, yes, I did start off with the uh, Bissell Pro, but I used to extract the seats and I would put a lot of pressure on it. So it snapped in half. Bow, right in the middle of a job, you guys. So I went out to my local um, detailing shop and I ran across this expensive thing right here. I heard this at the top of the line. This is called the Minty. Check it out. And I think I smell something funny. I think I left some. Uh... Check it out. Oh, that's what that's what the smell is right there. I need to go ahead and uh, offload that right there. But that's from that hard work that Hunter's Mobile Detailing does, man. But anyways, right over here is where I keep all my cords for the vacuum and for the uh, extractor right here. You know, I'm not uh, real organized right now, but I am more than most people. But we getting there, y'all. But here we got our uh, our wash and wax soap right here. We need to re-up on that. Right here, we got my bucket. This is for the tires right here and the rims. And this right here is for the body. Right. Come around the back. Yeah, come around the back. Oh, right here. We got our tent. This is what I set around the car, the vehicles, you know, when the sun is out. And you know, you don't want the sun uh drying up the vehicle. So this right here, I got this from Sam's Club. This costs about $220. Which it is too small. I need to get a bigger one, so we're gonna be returning that. Trial and error, trial and error. All right. Welcome to the other side of my crib, man. Respect it, respect it. All right, so here's my dirty laundry right here. That's where we throw all the dirty towels at. You gotta do some laundry. And right here, we got the Predator. 3,000, oh, 3,500 peak watts. This right here ran me about, I wanna say about 900 to $1,000 right here. It's the quiet version. So if you don't wanna come up making all that noise, this is the route you wanna go. And I like to start work at 7 a.m. Cause uh, the early bird gets the worm, like they say. And uh, when it comes to my money, your boy don't play. <laughs> Hunter's more, Hunter's more detailing, baby. <laughs> but anyway, let me unplug this. I don't want to mess up my cords. So I love this generator right here, man. It's quiet and it's worth the money, you guys. So invest in yourself, man. All right, what else we got? We got the water tank. This is the 65 gallon right here. We got this from Tractor Supply. This ran me about. I want to say 250 to 300 dollars all right up here we ain't too organized like i said but we got my this is uh my polishers my polish pads right here they need to be clean i need to clean up but this is where i keep all my pads and then right here is where i keep a couple more of my polishing pads um my wax for the vehicles uh, my kits for the headlight restorations right here. Um, what else we got? We got the uh, scratch and swirl remover from uh, Chemical Guys. Let's put that back. We're going to figure out a way to get more organized with this stuff right here. I'm going to get a bag for my polisher. Uh, check this out. Check this out, y'all. We ain't done, man. We ain't done with the crib right here, man. All right, come around to the back, man. It's the back room, man. It's the back room. This is where all the action go down. Right back here, man. We swing out the back. Ah, ah. They lose it. They, they lose it when we open up the back on them. They like, oh my gosh, we 
we never seen nothing like this before. Where I'm at, it's not saturated. I'm in Sacramento, California, and people, they don't normally see stuff like this. So that's why it's good that I got the sign. They see this, they see that they, they wanna do business, man. They see that we come to them and we're not playing. Anyways, got all the chemicals. Um, the bug cleaner right there. I label everything. Got the tire shine. Check it out, check it out. All right, we got the foam cannon right here. All right, we got the sun hat. Sometimes people don't know how to act. We got the sun hat, man, that block is there. All right. All right, then right here, we got my interior detail bag. If I can get, let, let go, let go. Let, all right, all right, let go. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. All right, so this is what I use for the interior. For the people that get tired of scrubbing the interior, you gotta upgrade, man. Invest in yourself. Like I said before, I'll say it again. Invest in yourself. All right, so where is my, here it is. Check it out, y'all. For the people that wanna upgrade, see what you do is, you get this drill bit right here, you put it into the drill, and now you can clean the carpets, the seats, you spray down the foam, bam, and you drill it. You drill it, right? And then you clean it up and you extract it. All right? It's time to upgrade. Invest in yourself. All right. Interior jobs right there. Then next, we got the steamer. Uh, what, what did I say? Let, hey, let go. And anyways. It's called Central Machinery right here. And uh, it's not too expensive, it cost me $100. I got it from Harbor Freight. And uh, if you ain't got a steamer, man, you're slacking and you're lacking. You better be about that action. Your boy's the captain. <laughs> but anyways, what I use the steamer for is, you know, stuff like stains and stuff that I can't get up. I like to use it on the cup holders. You know, you see them cup holders, they're extremely dirty and you don't wanna get in there. It's nasty sometimes. Get a towel, put it over it, and you steam it, and just wipe it up real quick. And um, it's good for tight corners, tight spaces. All right, now we got the Roby, Ryobi, however you pronounce it. A little unorganized with the cores, but it's electric. I don't like the gas because it's way too loud. Like I said, I'm working at 7 a.m. in the morning, and if I came through with the gas generator and the gas pressure washer, do you know how loud that would be? It would wake up the whole neighborhood. So I like to be quiet. It's not that much power. It's 2000 PSI. And this one right here ran me about $160. I got it from Home Depot. Tap in. All right, then we got the vacuum cleaner. Let me show you all the brand. This is all the power you need in the vacuum cleaner. It's the rigid portable vac. And um, I got this for about, I believe another $100, I believe. 80 to 100 dollars home depot and then right here we got the fortress ultra quiet series and it's the two gallon 135 psi and this one right here ran me about 150 dollars i believe at harbor freight you know harbor freight always have the deals so tap in get your coupons ready you know what i mean all right so here we go right here check this out this is what the air compressor is for. Probably didn't hear that low air came up out of it. So pull this out. And what I like to use this for is when, we, um, when we're drying the vehicle, you know how the water is always dripping down from the, um, from the door handles. I like to, you know, blow this, get the excess water that drips out and leaves them water spots on the vehicle. So this helps a lot. And then right here, Then right here, we got the power cord. <laughs> My kids, man. We got the power cord right here. You know, you can stand on them. I think it's 50 feet, extend 50 feet on them. Okay? Sometimes we park in areas where we can't reach stuff. So this right here, life safe. Show them that in the back where I put it. Show them in it. Can you show them? Bam, right there, we got both of them hooked up. Bam. All right, let's put that back in. I also got this from Harbor Freight. I believe that cost about a hundred dollars each. All right. So what else we got? What else we got, y'all? We want to make sure we're not forgetting anything. 
my next move is gonna be to put the handles for the for my bottles. I wanna be able to put my bottles in right there. Damn, so we slowly gonna get organized. Damn, let's put those back. So my chemicals and all my stuff. I like to keep all my chemicals and everything on me just in case your boy ran out. And the brand we are using is Finish Line. This is what we have at my local uh, uh, detailing shop, Finish Line. I don't know if you guys heard of it. I haven't heard of it, but I plan on switching to Chemical Guys. I really do like the Chemical Guys products. All right, so what else we got? What else we got, y'all? All right, let's see. Let's see if we forgot anything. Oh, there we go. Check this out, man. We got the drill, the, the great griots. Garage, I always have a hard time pronouncing that, you guys. But this one right here ran me about $160, $170, maybe a little bit more. But this is the only polisher I had, so I can't really compare it to anything else. But it does the job, smooth. And I love it, man. We still learning on the polishing game, man. We still learning. All right, now let me show you where I keep all my chemicals, y'all. Check this out. This is where I keep all my chemicals. Ah, we got the finish line glaze. Bam. We got the odor eliminator. Bam, finish line. Bam. We got the acid for the rims. What else we got? What else we got? We got the one step cleaner polish. You know, one step. And let me show y'all one more. One more. This one right here is for the bumpers and trim. You know, when it's uh this right here, when it's uh basically faded. It's like a paint. I haven't used that one yet, y'all. And this right here is my transfer pump. You know, sometimes I buy these big old buckets and I like to transfer it. It's kind of hard to pour it all the time, so transfer. And right here is my red stain remover for the interior. And that's about all. That's where I keep all my chemicals at, y'all. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, we got my power extension cord right here. Just in case, you know, we need an extra one. Oh yeah. All right, check this out. All right, when I really want to get professional, I'm check, yeah, check me out, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Your local detailer coming to a city near you. Check me out. Hold on, hold on, y'all. You're going to get suited and booted on me. Ugh. Ugh, hold on. Hold on, my man Curtis didn't even know I had this, huh? <laughs> nope. Hey, say what's up to the to the co-owner right what's here, man. On? What's going on? Oh I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm having a, a channel coming up soon. Oh yeah. Go follow it. It's gonna be called uh, KB Details or AK Details. All right. It, I'll, I'll leave it to my boss, Matt, uh, Wayne. If he's gonna put it in the description, let's yes, go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna put it in the description somewhere right there. Right there. Are we gonna pause the screen? We're gonna put him up there. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, like the video. Man, oh. run it up, man. Let's run it up. Hunter's Mobile Detailing, we're going up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. Ugh. Back to business, y'all. Back <laughs> to business. Hold on. Ah. Uh. Hey, if you're in the Sacramento, California area, make sure you tap in the Hunter's Mobile Detailing, man. We pull up to where you're at. And uh, if you ain't booked with us, then you don't know how to act, man. Get your act right and book with us, man. Uh, we come up to your job. We come up to your auntie house, your cousins, your brother, your mom, your dad. It don't matter, man. Just have the vehicle unlocked and ready, and we gonna clean it up, man. Let's go. All right. I think that's it, man. Any questions or anything, any questions you guys have, make sure you comment down below. What video y'all want to see, let me know. Um, other than that... Stop procrastinating on your business. Um, I've been in business for about four months, if you haven't heard. And um, I invested in myself. I think I spent about eight, eight thousand, eight to nine thousand on this business, man. If you got the money and you're hesitating on spending, you don't believe in yourself, man. Go all in if you can. Me, I went all in because I believe in myself. So believe in yourself. Put God first. And um, I think that's it, y'all. Y'all got any questions, comment down below. Like I said, Hunter's Mobile Detailing, baby. We out here. Tap in.